In Python, a file is categorized as either text or binary, and the difference between the two file types is important. Text files are structured as a sequence of lines, where each line includes a sequence of characters, such as HTML, XML, and text files. And a binary file is any type of files that is not a text file, such as PDF, image files, and video files. Because of their natures, uh, binary files can only be processed by an applications that know and understand the file structure. In other words, there must be some applications that can read and interpret the binary file. Pender is one of the powerful and flexible Python packages that allows us to work with text and binary files such as Excel, CSV, and many other types of files. Function like the Pender's with CSV to CSV, with Excel to Excel's methods enable us to work with files effectively. We can use them to save the data and label from Pender objects to a files and know them later as a Pender data frame instance. In order for us to use Pandas, first of all, we have to import these modules into the program first. So in here we import Pandas as PD. Um, so we use the PD dot um, with functions. Uh, here we would like to show the CSV first. Uh, it, so we just with CSV and then uh, we provide the data name the data file names. And then here, uh, because we do not have, uh, we, we have a header, so we put a zero right here. And then we also have a column index that is um, that's the first, first column is our index. So we just put zero here. It just in any case, if you do not have any header, you can put none here, just in case you do not, you, you also do not have any index columns, you can put none as well. But here we have our index columns in the, in the first row, in the first column, and then we have the header in the first row in the, except in the CSV file. So we just, um, we just um, with this first. And then we try to, let me show you the, First few, first few rows by using the head functions right here. So this is the first five row uh, in, the, in this uh, uh, data CSV files. So once you use this um, pender files that import the CSV, you will have a data frame that contain all this data. And because you can see that we have some NAN right here, which is um, uh, redundant, or we do not want this data, so we can use uh, in Python, uh, sorry, in Pandas, we can just use um, drop NA to drop this row very easily. So that's uh, equals two rows. And then in order for, for you, um, you, you can either um, just show the result in the screen, or you can actually change that this. Um, uh, data frame by um, by using in place function. If you set it as a true, that means you are going to remove this row um, uh, in the data frame. However, if you just choose false and it just show you the results, but without um, actually removing this row. So here I just use true right here, and then you can see the results once again. In place equals to true. Oh, here drop N A. Yep. Right now you can see that there's um, all the uh, rows containing the N A. It, it just been removed. It. So finally, we can use df doc two csv file to save the um uh, to import um to export this pander into a csv file just um 
type in the file names and then that should, uh, and then that's it. Instead of working with a CSV file, sometimes you might um, want to work with the uh, Excel file um, with the .xls and .xlsx files. So in order for you to do so, you have to install the XLRD uh, in order for you to read the Excel and the XLWT in order for you to write them to write the Excel with the .xl XLS file in order for you to um, export to the um, .xlsx files, you have to install the open py excel file, that module. So let's take a look on the functions. So actually this is very similar, but um, you just change the CSV to Excel. And then these CSVs to Excel, oh, so that should be uh, XLS. And then these to change CSV to change to Excel, and then this CSV change to XLS, and just one. Okay, that's it. And then just change it to XLX, XL, XLSX, XLSX, and then just one. And that's it. So right now you should be able to. Um, communicate with your CSV file, XLS file, and also the XLSX file with the pendant module.